Yo, alright, I need to talk at you for a second, because there's been something really pissing me off lately, and I really need to speak on it, alright? So I'm going to speak, okay? Now, you may or may not notice, but the Boston Bruins just possibly might have lost the most important sporting event to ever take place in the city of Boston, Massachusetts, and they fucking lost it. But you know what? I'm not even mad about that, alright? Well, I'm mad about that, but that's not the main thing I'm mad about. What I'm really mad about is the fact that I've been seeing this weird shit going on down there. There's, uh, the, the Bruins are, are celebrating, they're celebrating, and I thought, that's kind of weird, and it's been really pissing me off, because I was taught from a young age, what you're supposed to do when you lose, you're supposed to lose with dignity and grace, that's the most important thing, and they're not doing that, so I'm going to tell you what they're doing, and why it's ticking me off so much, alright, so here's what they're doing, I see this, this, they're posting on their Twitter page or whatever, they're like, the Bruins want to congratulate the team and the fans on a tremendous season, I'm sorry, excuse me, what, what are you talking about? First of all, fuck you. You didn't get no tremendous season. The season went out the window the second you fucking lost. That's absolutely ridiculous. Go ask those bums in Florida. Uh, or ask those bums in Canada. Are they celebrating the tremendous season? I guarantee you the answer is fucking no. All right? And then, on top of that... The, now, first of all, first of all, first of all, I'm mad. All right? Let me tell you why. I'm mad because they lost to some no-name scrub team. Who's the St. Louis Blues? Where's the St. Louis? What's St. Louis? Where's, what state is the St. Louis? Okay, point to that for me on the nap. Where, where's, where's St. Louis? Like, New Mexico or some shit? You're telling me you lost to a bunch of bums from New Mexico? That's ridiculous. I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed about that. Let me... I gotta find my happy place for a second. Let me put that down. All right? And then on top of that, on top of that, so they're celebrating this season. I'm like, whatever. You know what? That's not so bad. But I see this big old rager they're throwing. They're throwing a big old rager for losing the, the, the whatever it's called, the, the NHL win cup. The big old goblet. You write your name on it in Sharpie. They lost. They didn't get it. What they should be doing, all right, let me tell you what they should be doing. What they should be doing is hanging their heads in shame for the entire summer until we get to do this all over again. Fire the entire front office, fire all the players, get rid of all of them. All these bums need to go. I, I mean, they gave Dan Sweeney, they gave him general manager of the year, they gave him an award even though he lost. That's like, tell, explain that shit to me, that blows my fucking mind, let me tell you. All right, they gave him general manager of the year and uh, he lost. I, I could have put together a better team. Okay, all you gotta do is you're gonna find at every single position who scores the most points and you put him in that position. You hire that guy. That's as simple as that. I don't know how these... How, how is it that you got, what, 40 teams, 50 teams, and 49 of them can't ever figure it out? You got 49 teams that lose every year because they don't hire the best guy at every single position. Stupid, stupid. I mean, I'm the general manager at a CVS. I should have won general manager at a year, not Dan Sweeney, let me tell you. Let me tell you, it really pisses me off. Oh, my God. And then on top of that, on top of that, they all celebrate and they're giving Patrick Bergevin some sort of trophy. For what? What trophy does he win? I should win a trophy. I did a better job than he did. <sighs> Getting a little too fired up. It's real simple, all right? Here's what it comes down to. I don't care if you're Patrick Bergevin. I don't care if you're Brad Marchand. I don't care if you're Tucker Rask. It's real simple. You don't get to celebrate, all right? You hang your head and you quietly contemplate what it is you did wrong and then you come back next season and then you win the whole thing. It's as simple as that because we know every other team's a bunch of bums, all right? Ain't no better place in Boston. Mwah. Dirty water.